how to launch an app to the Google Play Store. Hello, my name is Thomas. I'm the CEO over here at AppRadar. And recently, you guys have been asking this question very often. And this is the reason why we decided to create an own video exactly on this topic, how to release an app to the Google Play Store. On a high level, we can separate the process into two major steps. The first step is the preparation phase and the second step is the actual launch. Within the preparation phase, as you can imagine, everything is circling around the topic of how to develop, how to prepare your app for submission to the Google Play Store. It is important to say at this stage, if you further want to be featured within the Google Play Store, it is already a good idea to think already in the beginning about which kind of technology are you going to use to actually develop your app. The more you're using what Google is providing to you, also the more technology you're using that Google is providing to you, the higher the chances of being featured within the Google Play Store afterwards. So this means the first phase is really focusing around the topic of developing your app, as well as create accounts to actually submit your app to the Google Play Store. How you can do this is you have to move over to the Google Play Console and create an account over there. With the help of the Google Play Console, you can upload your app to the Google Play Store as well as prepare your App Store listing. Once the app development is finished for the first version of your app and you created a Google Play Console account, it is time for phase number two. There are different strategies of how you can actually launch your app to the Google Play Store. When we have a look at mobile games, one of the things that we can identify there is the strategy of doing a soft launch. What is a soft launch? It means that in the beginning you're just releasing your app to a few selected countries. Why is this important? Because especially in the beginning what you want to gather is feedback from your users. You want to find out if your app is working if it is delivering value to your users and what your users like the most about it. I can tell you it is way easier if you're only doing this for selected markets and not trying to do this already on a global scale already from the beginning. The benefit of gathering this information from a soft launch is that you can also take this information and let it flow into your app to make it even better for a global launch afterwards. When talking about the global launch, there are a couple of things that you need to have in mind, which you should ideally already think of while in phase one, while in the preparation phase. One of the things that is the most obvious there is the pricing strategy. It is important to know that nowadays there are different options out there and you should try to identify the one that is working the best for you. The options range from having a paid app over to having ads within your app over to providing in-app purchases where people can buy stuff, especially something very useful for mobile games, where you, for example, can buy in-app coins or something like that. And it can also mean that you are providing subscriptions for your app, where it means that your users are being charged on a monthly or yearly base to use the features of your app. Once you nailed the pricing strategy, it is also important to think about the app rating. This means who should be able to download your app. Should kids be allowed to download your app or is it only for adults? This is very important when submitting your app to the App Store that you fill out the questionnaire and you should do this really carefully. If you are acting against the Google Play guidelines, believe me, your app won't be live for a long time within the Google Play Store. It is time to write your App Store description. <music> This is the place where you prepare your app store listing so that people out there understand what your app is about. I can highly recommend you to check out apparator.com and create an account over there to get guidance on how to set up a professional app store listing. Apparator will also help you identifying keywords that might be relevant for your app. Once you decided on the pricing strategy, filled out the app rating questionnaire, built a rock solid app store listing it is time to take your app global and release it on the worldwide Google Play Store. Once your app is live within the Google Play Store, 
it is about analyzing the metrics. You want to figure out where do your users come from? How is your app being discovered? But how can I do this? Is there any help? Is there any guidance on this? AppRadar will provide you great insights into your user acquisition strategies and will help you identifying where your users are coming from. If you found this video valuable, but you're asking yourself, is there some kind of checklist out there that helps me setting up this process and also taking all the important points into consideration? Good news, we prepared a checklist exactly for this and it is being linked within the description. If you like videos like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel as well as click on the notification bell so you will get the notification as soon as our next video is live. And don't forget, keep optimizing. Do a clap that you can easier. <laughs> Welcome.